face to face. And today we have a very special show. We are still in uh, under the coronavirus in New York City, but uh, we're going to speak with a, a, a sculptor, an artist who is in Catalonia region in Spain and uh, who accept to, to talk to us. Um, this main work is under uh, the experience and working with your hand to uh, work on reconciliation and work with uh, the Colombian Museum uh, in uh, Medellin to, uh, for the reconciliation and, and the processes of, of peace. Guido Duteni, uh, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you. Thank you. Here I am. Good. So do you want to, to yeah. let people know a little bit about your journey, your background? Well, yes, I, I, I work with my hands and I, I shape with my hands, usually blindfolded. And I discover, uh, well, what can be inside and even outside sometimes. In fact, it's a process of discovering through the shapes uh, realities which are, in principle, uh, uh, unknown and to be discovered. I put this, well, of course, there is an academic work uh, as a sculptor, as a painter. Uh, this is, of course, I believe also relevant, but what is uh, significant, because you are talking about uh, the conciliation, this experience that I had in Medellin, which has been preceded by many other experiences like this, related to peace, much work done with the deafblind people, also using always this means of having hands expressing and manifesting. My, my reference or my starting point is that the hands manifest what, what you are, what you feel, what you know. When you are, you are through them, you learn. Through them, you, as, as already stated and, 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 and accomplishes knowledge, that uh, hands is what brought us to be also intelligent. They are part of our developing intelligence. But how, how did you end up with that experience? How did you connect with this? How, what was the, yeah, well, the, the this, clicking this, point? This, this, this goes back to my, to my, to my childhood. Uh, my mother was sculpture. Uh, and uh, I had a relationship, of course, with sculpture since very, very small. And then I started just working with, uh, with, uh, with the earth, with soil, wet soil, very much indeed. And I started already as, as a child playing with this blindness. To it was it was given. I, it was not meant to be. And uh, uh, my play was I remember it very well to to shape um, to shape the mud and then uh, opening the eyes uh, uh, invent uh, what uh, that could be, interpreting the shape that I could see. And this has, has created like uh, m very many histories that I have discovered and, 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 and also with fantasy imagined within myself. And uh, from there on, then the practice of the sculpture itself in an academical way with materials and so on has been uh, uh, somehow unavoidable. But, but all, all started with this, with the, with the clay, with the, with the mud, with the water, with the hands in it, the shaping, closing my eyes, I remember it very well. It was in Milano, where I am born, and uh, something has been also written about that. This is the very, the very core beginning where I start to develop from that on what hands can really do, what hands can discover. In fact, any shape, any shape, also not done by hands, can be seen from different point of view and can suggest, can let you imagine different things. And this interpretation process which is fantasieux, it's, it's full of fantasy, is what brings me or brought me to, uh, to, 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 be like, to be like telling stories. And, 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 and the vice versa was later on with the reconciliation for its well. So we see that the hands discover through matter shapes. These shapes can be seen from different points of view because they can only be seen totally in full by the hands. But when the eyes open, you touch them. You touch them with the eyes from different angles and these different angles suggest you different things. So the same shape contains different aspects. And when these shapes comes out of a spontaneous work, we're not, maybe not even having an intention to do something 
or not a, an aware intention of doing something, but just a state of consciousness, of mind, that you are shaping, like with Mary, uh, which is one, one of my, of my work, which is the iconic representation of the femininity, and of course, the mother of Jesus, uh, Quenin in China, and, and, and Shakti in India, and many, it, it's just a, it's, it's an icon, icon of the femininity. This was, 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 was achieved, was discovered, blindfolded, shaping with my hands, and of course, not having an intention to do that exactly, which I did, but to reach the, 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 the wholeness of the femininity and the other community and and and, and so it was and so, so it was and so, so for us as a humanist we what is very interesting on your work it's this um reality of the internal work of the internal world and we have as a human being we have an internal exactly. with much more important actually than the external world than we want to see of course or than of we course, want to of course. so really i was very shocked when i i, I checked the documentary because It was one first the, the notion of non-violence because I think the people who participate to your training or to your workshop are coming with an intention yes. to do uh, to open themselves to uh, reconciliate, avoid or transform the violence they register into something else. So for me, that's a process yes. of reconciliation which is very important. Two yeah. and 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 coming from the the non-violence of of rejecting yes. violence as, as, as a way to, to, to proceed in their life. And three, the, the, the tactile aspect, and after that, the, the telling of, of, of that registers are, mm -hmm. um, it's like a guided experiences. Then we, we it's like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we visiting uh, uh, a story then we want to share, then we want to, do, then we have to express. Exactly. So I was really very, uh, uh, And that's really why I wanted to interview because I was like, this is someone I want to speak yeah, to because for this, us it's a this very is, is, is very key what you say, and it's also easy to it's also easy to understand that when I had my my experience during so many years, uh, I suddenly one day I understood that this process that I was applying for myself, shaping, blindfolded, and discovering and letting letting it go did this discover this inside with of course a, a kind of, of 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 artistic inspiration because at the end there, that there is an academic work behind uh, but i thought that everybody could do that and everybody should do that in fact i always invite people not to do anything specific they have to let go and then they they are pushed to to open themselves through what they do so the hands manifest the hands tell them to oneself and to the other through the shape what's going on and this can be shared between people so i had really many many experiences during many years with all these and even applied to the deafblind people to handicapped to uh, to uh, to uh, 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 People also with 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 a, a heart response, even physically. And you have seen in reconciliation, we we had one man without arms, which was amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no, no, it's, I saw it. So, can you can you describe a little bit more? How did you end up in Medellin on the, on this? Because I, we we Medellin, are following the, the, the peace process uh, very closely yeah, and one, and one, the, the visual of the memory. Yeah, yeah. A, 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 a film director friend of mine uh, was interested in my work. I came to Barcelona from from Medellin. We talk. She wanted to do herself an experience. Then she went back to to Colombia. She understood that all the project of my Peace Gate, which is at the end something which is in the same line, uh, and uh, she spoke with the Museo de la Memoria, the Memory Museum in Medellin, and. Uh, They did write me and contract me to go there and to do these workshops and realize at the end the film that they did. And well, this is it has been already now, after more than one year, two years, I believe, many people that have participated, they are keeping in contact with me and I'm following them. And I left Wax there to follow up. I had a recent experience in Germany in January before all this uh, coronavirus situation, coronavirus situation uh, in a convent uh, with 50 people. And uh, the theme was, we are part of the, of the whole. 
aspiration to the fact that that we one we are part of a whole of a of a war and um this, this was tremendously interesting i'm working on it still yet because everything has been stopped with the shape that came out and uh, with but they had a very strong experience and works was left there and they are still using it and doing things because at the end everybody manifests with the hands then then many say well we are not an artist so there's nothing to do that has nothing to do with art. so it's my question because you 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 are an artist you you present yourself as a sculptor you present so having this relationship between very different discipline into one and then at the end saying i am not an artist it's it's really uh well, it's, it's, I'm not an artist. I but I don't know what exactly it means. I believe that 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 everybody can express and manifest. The difference is perhaps that I devote all my time to also certain aesthetical aspects using academic skills that I have learned and which are perhaps innate. And uh, this brings me also to be able to shape a face in a certain realistic way. And this uh, could uh, could bring people to think that I am an artist because of that. In my 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 larger sculptures, my enlargement, few things that I have done. But but um, everybody does things. Everybody manifests and express. The point is is to put all this together to bring all the shapes to together. You have seen reconciliation is is only is very limited in one sense because the artistic part is just uh, is just um, uh, ephemeral is not so relevant what the shapes at the end they tell something but uh, but but they must be also there because it's through this action that it comes out what comes out let's say let's say now you are not an artist and you do the same workshop under another focus and i'm not sure it will give the same result it, it's I think because of the art, because of the uh, of b boundaries less uh, uh, frame, I think people can let go much more. And I think art, it's a great way to, to be able to open these doors who have been, you know, uh, closed. It is an expression of, of, of the human, uh, uh, which he is. And, and then an elaborated expression is a discovery then uh, can take place uh, everywhere. I believe that that in my workshops or what they have done, uh, the end uh, the, is art the end product or is art the process? Mm, uh, uh, perhaps I, I see that the experience, the process, is what really remains as, as something that you uh, uh, mm, metabolize within yourself. The object itself is is a witness of it, and if is made in a way that you can use it, it becomes a tool, revoking, evoking the experience. I mean, uh, if I think in many of my works of art, especially the one which are related also to religion, but not only, which are really icons, uh, then, then possible object of devotion, uh, uh, they are tools, so they are instruments that you use by touching them. Uh, and, but also other pieces uh, done by other people uh, I, I had, for instance, an experience, I had many experiences of two people together, just two people shaping matter with their four hands. Yeah, are you, how you call and, it? You call it like a love, it's, it's a love experience? Yes, the, the wall, the, the witness of love. I the call it of love. witness of love. That's right. Recently, I've done a couple of them, and I am developing it because it's, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's fascinating. What is fascinating yeah. is that the two people that do it, yeah. they discover amazing things. Yeah between them uh -huh. uh, it's i did it uh, well very officially the first time in texas at the at the at the deaf uh, deaf institute in, in in austin and then the second time in canada at the deaf uh, deaf line association with many people and changing in between them there, there were eight or ten and they were changing the people suddenly they met another one and uh, uh, the end result was that they discovered the other in a very different way and one of them, a couple of them, when I saw them working, I thought to my assistant, they had, they had assigned to me an assistant to do this work. I said, these two, they will probably marry. And in fact, they did marry. <laughs> no, they no, it's did, they did discover, it's, they did discover this together work with the hands brought them to discover 
the other in a different way. So, and then the shape that at the end you have, this is what I'm recently, do, I had been recently doing it in Barcelona, now everything is a bit shut down. And it's, it's amazing because of the shape that at the end come out, it's also tremendously interesting because it's telling a lot of things. Is very moved, is it moved and is moving. So, you know, um, it's it, another dimension. Of course, we are not representing the world. We are not painting or sculpting human beings or whatever. We are not constructing architectures. No, we are just taking what the hands express and manifest and is transformed into matter. But this matter, which is also very important, and, and this is, I believe, also very key. Uh, I discovered many, many years ago, I was here really very young, that what you are containing within your hands once enlarged, may contain you, coming to this metaphysical uh, concept of be contained, but what is containing you? So, which is amazing. In fact, you can enter into it. So even two people no, but we, something, we, we then define, they... We define ourselves with a space of representation where we, we, we have a space where we represent inside of us everything within and everything without. And so exactly. that's where you get your, uh, your, your experience get very, very fantastic. For us, it's, as a humanist, I'm telling you, it's one of, of really the most uh, 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 reduced to, to, to the minimal list of, of what we uh, work with images can do and, and our philosophy. It's very, it's fascinating. I'm so, I'm so excited. Well, I am, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that it fascinates you. I am convinced that uh, using all of this fascination, this opens the door to practice it and to, and to, and to collect and to do many of these experiences. If we, if we reach the, the concept of the peace gate, at the end is a bit the same. I don't know if you have seen the experiment that I did in Assisi, uh, uh, showing how with the shapes uh, uh, modeled, uh, find by the people participating and translating them in 3D in the computer as objects, I could build a piece gate. So a piece gate can be built with the shapes uh, 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 outcoming from the ends of the people participating in this big ceremony, making peace, making peace with the hands. With the intention of making peace, and 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 this uh, in my in my in my experiment, I just show how this is possible because it's not to bring many pieces together and 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 build them up. No, it's, it's virtual because they can be smaller, larger. They go one into the other. Uh, they they mix, uh, and then you build with all this a, a dimension which which is a gate, and you go through, and you and you go through a door. The door of peace, which is done with the with the with the images, with the shapes of all the people participating, and this is the peace gate. And, and, and you can you cannot do it. You, you you have no cities. I, where... I can't do it. I I'm looking. I'm I, I did my experiment. I did my film. I, I I had my people also investing a lot of money to do it because this this is it's it's exactly. was was a very complicated path, especially uh, informatically, numerically was was. was bit complex now what well, can be done is shown and everybody can understand it i need 96 people uh, to do it minimum could be much more groups of eight uh, volunteers warm water and then cold water and then singing and then and then being around and and willing all these people willing to shape peace and then at the end we can have a peace cake and I suggest always a, a piece gate at, at a man measure that can be reproduced as many times as you want and put everywhere. In the tube in New York, suddenly you see a piece gate. No, no. Which is done. I see it. Yeah. I see it in Central Park. I see it. I, I mean, I can, yeah. I will, I will be mayor of any city. You will be doing it already. Uh, I think yeah, it's a fantastic, it's, 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 it's a fantastic it's Of course, it, it's, it's something that like everything, where, where do we meet the problem? When we have to, uh, to make it concrete, there is a will, a political will, an economical will, because of course these things are also not for free. I mean, it's, it's not so simple. The wax, the people, uh, the, the filming, because of course such, a, such, a, such an event should be filmed uh, um, well and broadcasted, known, and then produce 
these peace gates and distribute them all over. I mean, sometimes I think I had proposed that when I went to Austria in America two years ago, uh, because I, I had done a sculpture for the American Italian American Association of Teachers. And then I did at Austria a peace, a peace experience. And then I proposed to do it at ground zero with the people to do a peace, a peace, a peace, a peace gate experience. Yeah. Come here all together, yeah. by blindfolded and make peace, uh, uh, trusting the other because you don't see anybody. You have to close your eyes. And then we reach a, a, a gate which we can reproduce. And instead of sending around the world what we are sending around the world, we will send peace gates out of this to be located everywhere so that people become aware of what it means, this will of making peace. But this was the project. And uh, well, the uh, same thing I proposed in Colombia, and they were fascinated, but but, but then uh, then it doesn't happen. I don't know. Perhaps one day it will happen. No, yeah, but I, I, I see it for, even for a neighborhood or, or, or for a, a, a situation, I, I imagine to to be able to to get the people together and, and overcome the difficulties and and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and, and really open the future and, and having the symbol of this, this gate, this peace gate. No, I, I, the whole process, I, it's really... I see your face that you enjoy. You like it. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. I, it makes me very happy. makes me very happy. Okay. <laughs> so we're running a little bit out of time. Okay. Um, um, I am not counting the time, but you, you, you yeah, enjoy yes, it. Yeah. So, um, have you, um, do you have anything that we, we didn't cover you want to mention? or uh, in No, the, in no, the no, news? because I had not, I had not, I had not a, a frame. I mean, I was just open. Uh, very pleased to meet you, to see your face, to, 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 to enjoy also your, your, your enjoyment, which makes me very happy. And uh, and then and, and no 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 I have no no further or no no special messages at all. Uh, the only thing is that while well, I'm open to receive whatever and to respond to everybody and to discuss to open conversations and to go deeper into everything if there is an interest. I mean it's easy also. What to will find make you come it. to New York? What will make you come to New York? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's always the same to move. Uh, well, right now it's a bit difficult, as you know, uh, but it will it will be over it soon. Pass, yeah. uh, during this year, I believe, one moment or another. Yeah. And I, I I hope to come. And when I come and when I see it, uh, or if you have any idea to make me come because you feel something, well, uh, you know, I am master of my time, as you can imagine. Okay. So uh, <laughs> unless well, things that, that that I have to do that works because I do also works uh, artworks. Uh, Right now, a couple for uh, for for Germany, but well, it's a bit stopped. We will see but, what happens in the next. Uh, send me send me your criteria for you to do a workshop. What will take it for you to come to New York and do a workshop? At least to start with, to to what will be the basic? Uh -huh. uh, because yeah. I, I well, think we could which, get which. But which was the aim of the workshop? Uh, the, the, rec the, rec the reconciliation workshop. What what could be a reconciliation? Yeah. I can send you a memory a memorandum on it, how it works, what is needed, and then how much it costs, and so on. Yes. Yeah, that this would is, that would be perfect. I have, I have, I have, I have an, an, a, there is an organization behind me which handle all these uh, aspects, and uh, but but now that I know you also personally, I will of course uh, take action personally in it. Yes, I will can I will let you have as a memorandum the same that this was done for for Colombia for Medellin. Uh, it's really a pleasure to have uh, met you, and then we will stay in touch. And then, thank you. I'm very pleased. Thank you so much. Thank that was your show, Face to Face, and please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. Hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you.